All right, so now we're going to be speaking about slices. Now, slicing is just an advanced version of what we just did, except if you're using the same track for the beginning and end of those sound effects or that loop like we did in the previous cue, um, you don't need to have multiple tracks. It can all be built into the individual track, which is just so cool. So let me talk about slices right now. Uh, we're going to go in here and click on your track to make sure you highlight the uh, inspector down here. We're going to go into time and loops. And then just like before, um, we could drag our um, starting and ending times. Okay. But this time we're not going to do that. We're going to go over here. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so I can see better. We're going to go over here and hit uh, I think it was around 13 seconds we found that kind of feet, this sweet spot, okay? So if I remember correctly, I've got it copied here. Yeah, it's 13 and point four zero six. So that would be uh, the end of that, okay? And that's how we did it earlier. We're not going to put an end time this time. We're going to delete that, get rid of that. We're going to do the same thing, but by adding a slice. So right here, as you highlight one of these areas, just click on it and put a line wherever you want, okay? So in this case, we're going to put it over here, which is the incorrect spot. But I'm going to give you an example. We're going to go down here. We're going to click Add Slice. When you click Add Slice, you now have three different windows. You have a start time, an end time, and a slice time. Uh, we know what the slice time needs to be to be perfect, which I'm going to just paste that in the window, and it's 13.406 seconds. I'm going to hit Enter. And you see the slice window just came down here. Now, uh, not window, slice line, rather, came right down here. Now, what's on the left-hand side of it is the number one. Now, if you play the song right now, nothing will change at all, okay? However, if you double-click on that green one that's down on the bottom, it opens up a world of possibilities. You now can tell it how many times to play just that slice, okay? So in this case, if you wanted to play it two times and then auto follow like we did before, you don't have to do the auto follow cue and the next track cue. You can go in here, make a slice, tell it to play two times, and that's it. By typing the letter two, the number two, the letter two, number two, hitting enter, it's going to play twice and then move on. Okay. So I'll show you that right now by clicking this, hitting go, and you can instantly watch how it's going to play that part. It's going to hit the slice, loop again, but the second loop, it's going to go right past the slice. So that was your first loop, undetectable to the human ear. <laughs> Can't tell it at all. This is the second time playing this, and I'll watch it go right past. Perfect. And there was no cues. We didn't have to put a fade cue. We didn't have to put anything in there. That was fantastic. Um, like I said before in my earlier videos, there is a million ways to do the same exact thing. Um, it depends on what you're trying to do. If you wanted your song to play this intro and loop it three or four times or infinitely until you hit the devamp cue, then play another song or another version of the track, uh, that's what you would do. In this case, we're going to use the same exact track. So here we go. We're going to this time we're going to do a devamp cue, but we're going to devamp not the cue. We're going to devamp the slice. Okay, so we're going to do that by coming down here. We already have our slice and our time made. Okay, so we're going to click on the slice. There's our slice time is 13.40 seconds. We're going to double click on the green number and we're going to change that to zero. Now zero turns into infinite in this slice time. So zero means it's going to loop forever. All right, we're going to hit enter. And now if we go and hit go, it's going to loop and loop and loop and loop and loop. Okay. While we're doing that loop, we're going to add a devamp cue. There is no uh, shortcut for that. You have to grab the devamp cue and bring it in manually. We're going to target it. So the devamp cue knows what to target. And this time, instead of choosing to devamp the looping cue like we did previously, we're going to choose to leave it on the devamp currently looping slice. All right. You ready? At any time during this, 
Okay, it's looping again. We're gonna hit the devamp cue. It's gonna go right past that slice. How great is that? So, basically, we just did the same thing in two different ways. Uh, but I will say that my workspace is a lot cleaner uh, because I have less things on it, less, uh, less things to mess up with. Uh, but if you want to change and if you have a different version of that song or, or that track or a sound effect that comes in, you don't really want that to happen that way. So uh, both versions are uh, just as applicable depending on what you're actually trying to do with it. Uh, so that is a looping slice with a devamp to get out of it whenever you need, or you can program it to do three, four loops, and then continue on however you think uh, it's needed. That's it.